Hello YouTube friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm working more on my RPG Maker project. And I recently just noticed something today. I forgot to add something to three maps. And I want to show you what I forgot to add. And you guys might have noticed it before. But I did not until just now. This is the fort, so is this. I forgot to add a way to get up to the top. My bad. So I want to go ahead and do that. And I already scouted the perfect areas to do that. One of them might seem completely stupid, but you know what? Does it really matter? Mm, I mean, maybe. It might matter. Who knows? We'll see. <coughs> so I need to find these stairs. And it's these ones. And it's going to go right there. I could do the other stairs. Well, no. I mean, I could actually, like, maybe enclose it in. I could try that actually. Hold on, let me try that real quick. No, it's not going to work. It's too narrow of a space. And I want people to be able to walk down here for all the guards. So that's not going to work, unfortunately. It is what it is though. It's a great idea, but it's not going to work. Same for over here. I could enclose this as well, but I want people to be able to walk in that area and over by this doorway. Was I mean, I could move this doorway over to like here somewhere, but I want to keep it where it is now because I like where it is. But you know, but I want I I forgot to put stairs. I mean, I was trying to build this map out and it took me about a month to do, I think. Well, no, maybe maybe not a month. Maybe like two weeks or so to do. <clears throat> was it two weeks? It was it was about a week, maybe. I forgot. I slept since then, honestly. But I need to go through and do the same in the other forts, which the final fort I'm going to change to Okay, I may not do it here. I want to do it here instead. Well, no, not, not that one, no. Get her something on my freaking mouse pad again. Oh my lord, what is it? It's a bunch of cat hair. Okay, well, I gotta clean that off again. Because cats. <laughs> it's a bunch of pussy hair. Oh, wait. <laughs> Wrong one. Freaking... Wrong kind of pussy. I'm gonna put. That's not a good spot either, honestly. Um, let's not put it over here. Uh, what a, what a good spot. Okay, yeah. So right here is a good spot. Yeah, I could put it over here, but I want it over here, and then in, in the same spot over here. Oh, my toe itches. What the frick, dude? Like the actual toenail itches. That is so weird. I've never had it before. What the hell? <clears throat> so this one. I believe in the comments for. What the fuck? Oh, that's right. I believe up here. I made. Did I not put that in? No, I did. Oh, yeah, here it is. Redo high income fort into a prison for the entire city. That. Hold on. Let me. Let me. Let me re. Um. Like reword this. Because if I. No, actually, no. I don't have to do that. I was gonna say if I if I do that, I would want it to be a multi map thing. But does it really have to be a multi-map thing? 
Not really. How big is the map now, actually? Let me... 150 by 75. So, I need to remember those numbers. So... No, hold on. Cool thing with notes is you can use them for notes or for coding. Oh, wait. I don't know how to code. Oh, no! So, how much more would I get if I do this? And if I make this into a maximum map prison? Oh, shit, yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, the only problem is... Hold on. Would I be able to make a yard? No. I wouldn't be able... Well, no, I could actually. Hold on. I could. But does it work? I mean... If you ignore the um, stone around it, it kind of works. But... I mean, it's a prison, so it fit grass. They put fake grass on, on, um, on, on concrete. It's, it's turf. So, I mean. And I thought the fur was big now, but goddamn. <laughs> Holy shnikes. Yeah, I think I will do that. I may not start it now. But I'm going to do it. And I can have a very expansive prison. I can have... Oh, man. I don't have... Okay, so I don't have modern... Stuff for like workout stuff or any of that kind of stuff for, you know, recreational. No TVs or nothing. It is a medieval f prison, which I'll have to. I'll have to look into that because I don't know if I don't know if they had prisons back then. All they had was like. A brig, or no, not in a brig, but a, um, a dungeon. Like that was in a castle. I don't know if they had actual prisons back then. They might have, but I don't. I don't know. You know what? Screw it. Oh yeah, the joys of having forty megs of upload speed for an hour thirty minute video. Taking freaking three hours. I can't wait till I get fiber. Oh, I gotta wait for it to be installed though. Which sucks. They're not doing it yet in my area. So, um, cat. Ha. <laughs> um, medieval, medieval prisons. I mean, I guess they had prisons back then. Okay. Oh, that's that's definitely freaking um AI generated. You can tell. <laughs> that looks too neat. Well, I think I know what happened there. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that one. Yeah, I know that's AI generated. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on. Um, um, nah, hold on now. That is not anime. Are you serious? That is AI generated. That could pass, I guess. <laughs> anime assassin. Oh my lord, dude. Medieval anime guy. 
I mean, okay, yeah, I mean, I guess, I mean, yeah. But we're not, we're not, we're not looking at anime stuff. <laughs> Was that really the beds back then? Just a piece of wood? Thanks. That's bad. <laughs> That's really bad. That's AI generated. <laughs> Whoa, was that it? Seven years ago. So that was before AI was around, hopefully. If that was a true castle dungeon, I think I know what happened here. I think I know what went on there. I'm not going to say what. Because YouTube. Medieval prison bars. Bro. That's not going to keep anyone in. They can just crawl under that. They can crawl under that. Like what the frick dude. Unless they're like 500,000 pounds. They're getting through that shit. I wonder, hold on. I doubt this is a thing, but, oh it is, okay. <laughs> oh shit, it is, okay. This is sweet. Millbank Prison in London. This is just on the internet. What the fuck? You have your cells and you have the hallway. If I could make my game look like this, oh my lord, dude. Pentonville Prison. That's not even medieval, that's like a town in real life. What the fuck? 3D Prison Constructor. Bro, that looks sick. TurboSquid.com, nice name. <laughs> that is not medieval. That's freaking prison architect. Are you serious? <clears throat> okay, that's from a game as well. That is not... That That is not blueprints. Here we go. It, no way. Is this actual Alcatraz? No freaking way. No way. There's no way this is Alcatraz. They wouldn't just allow this on the internet. There's no way. There's no freaking way. Yeah, we're not gonna um use a Russian prison. I have my reasons. <laughs> I have my reasons. Anime. <laughs> so these are not really helping me at all. So that's probably the yard. Those are the cells. This is freaking prison architect again, isn't it? It has to be prison architect. Someone drew their prison architect prison in pencil yeah I, I'm, call, I'm calling that one out I could be wrong though I could copy this one I mean I, I could easily copy like any of these but um, except for this one of course I mean I could copy up here but like the path down here, not so much. But I'm not gonna copy anything, I'm just getting ideas. That's a freaking mine. That is not a freaking. When did I get.
when did that get into f okay whatever I'm done <laughs> okay whatever I'm done <clears throat> alright you know what I'm gonna freaking just like wipe this clean because I've already said I was gonna do it um yeah and we're committed I can no longer undo it score I am now committed I will do that later I will do it later. I don't care. I am committed. This is my priority. Why do you do this, you stupid piece of shit? I swear. Like, I'm not right clicking. I am left clicking. I don't need you to do that. Left click. I'm not right clicking, you son of a bitch. You don't do it here, though. So, let's click. Oh, you didn't do it that time. Oh, you're not doing it now. Because I called you out. Oh, you dirty son of a bitch. Okay. Hey, devs, if you ever see this, you gotta fix that bug, please. It's been in a freaking program since day one. And it is freaking dumb as hell. And if you dare say we cannot replicate it, zoom in map size all the way out on a maximum map size. And then you'll get it. Trust me. And use the current version. Use the current version. It'll happen. Don't use the dev version. Use the public version of the engine on 1.8. Point zero. And it will happen. I guarantee it. Alright, so on the Forest Lake map, what I've done is I added some decor. Not my best work, no flowers or nothing yet. But I need to have a way to get up to here from the previous map, which is this one right here. <coughs> So, I need to have a way to get up top to up here, and then from here to here, so you can find any items that might be up here, a treasure chest, or whatever that I might put up here later on. So, yeah. That's why I made this, and this is what I've done today. It's not very much, I know, but reasons behind, you know, shit happens. <clears throat> I want to add some rocks. Not that one, though. I want to add some more rocks in here because I can. All right, so that one is now done. Okay. Cool. That part of it is done. The rest of the map's not done yet because it's not decored yet. Like, at all. <laughs> and yes, I'm basically going to copy this down here. Well, I'm not going to copy and paste it. I want to actually do it by hand, but you know what I mean. I'm going to put stuff in the water as well. Like, you know. <sighs> what can I put in the water, though? That's the question. Um. Like grass and whatnot. Whatever I can put in the water, I'll put in the water. So, but yeah, that's just what I've done for now. We'll go ahead and save this again. Change the map over. There we go. We don't need Uncle Phil right now, or the plugin manager, or. <clears throat> do I want to do more eventing? today maybe <clears throat> I don't know why he's doing that that's weird I don't know why you're doing that as well hold on I wonder does it do it again no Okay, what about if I do this? No. Okay, what if I do 
this. Yes. Okay. Fine, I'll freaking fix it. <laughs> See what it does now. Um, yes. Don't know why you're doing this, but you better quit. Okay, I see what you're doing now. It's not playable. <laughs> Fixed it. <clears throat> okay. So, I want to go back into here. Yeah, so that's fixed. That's fixed too. Why devs? Like, you couldn't have spotted a simple bug like that? Come on now. Good lord. What the hell? So copy this one and paste it. I want to work on this one some more and try to add more to it. Try to get in my chair properly. Because I'm sitting crooked in my chair. I always do. Alright, so I want to add... Let's see, I have the items. Now I want to add... Why is that on for? Huh. I guess I have to have this on. Was this an icon down here which you cannot see? I just noticed it was just new to me, honestly. Can I get rid of that icon, I wonder? Heads up display. Yeah, I don't want that one. Because I have it down here from Windows. So I don't need that one. But I want this one. So I know I'm recording. Statistics logging. Is that what I think it is? Is it this? No, it's not. Statistics logging. What is that one? Statistics overlay. So it's, it is that one then. No, it's not. Okay. What is a statistics logging one? Circle controls. Edit filter. Save a screenshot. Toggle visibility. Open and close the in game overlay. Statistics. Oh, it's not even bound. So I don't need that at all then, do I? If it's not bound. Because I can just press can I can just press the hotkey and just have this pop up. So I don't need you at all then. Cause I can like I can just do this. And I'll get the logging stuff. Yeah, okay. That that's weird. Okay. I love this right here though. I don't I don't longer need a timer at all with this 
freaking handy. <clears throat> it is really handy. Not needing the timer anymore. Alright. Back to my game. I want to modify this event. But I don't want to modify the original one. Which is why I copied it. So... I want to make a new item. I want to make a new item. And most of you will not approve of this. Well, some of you might. Some of you more than likely won't. But I want to see if this works as well. I've done this before. Just like how I did the previous coming event before as well. And I forgot how to do it. And I forgot how to do this one as well. So this is going to be a refresher course on this one. And a tutorial for those who are new. Once again, where is the icon that I want? I want a, a bag, but I want a specific bag. Where is it? Is it further up? No. Is it down here somewhere? No. Maybe it is one of those ones. Yeah, it might, might be this one right here. Yeah, because it looks like gold. Okay, so... Gold... 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 I pressed... I did not press zero, you son of a bitch! <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> Actually, no, I'll have to make a separate one. Because if I give it the same common event, then this will drop this. Okay, that's fair. Live and learn. Live and learn. I just, I just remembered. I cannot do that. That is fine. Live and learn. Fair enough. Fair enough. Not a big deal. I wanted to save space and all, but I mean, I don't really need to because, you know, 10,000 events, but hey, it is what it is. So, this one is going to be Speed run proofing gold because yes, and now we do the same thing. I want how much gold do I want to give the player in the beginning of the game? Definitely not a hundred. I mean, maybe I can do a hundred. No, that's too much. Maybe fifty? Yeah, I think I can do a max of fifty gold. A hundred's way too much. No. It depends on how I price items. I need, I need to make a comment, does not always drop, copy this, 
paste it, apply it. Okay, so it does not always drop. And this comment will not affect it in any way unless there is coding in the comment. Which, for those who are new, you can use comments or the script or plugin commands for, for coding reasons. Since I don't know how to code anything, those are basically useless to me. Except for like leaving notes for myself saying, hey, this does this, or this is an idea, or this is for what it is, or I need, or leaving myself like notes saying, hey, I need to do this at a later time. So yeah, that's basically what comments are for. For, for me, since I don't know how to code. And there is no issue with that at all. Not knowing how to code is fine. <coughs> so control a variable. I want random from Yeah, 0 to 50 for now. That way you have a chance to get no gold at all, even though it does not always drop. No, actually, 1. So, basically what we do then is we take this same concept here Um, speed run proofing items. <laughs> so we take this same concept, conditional branch, create else. And then there's that one. So if, if one is on, no, we don't want that one. We want variable. If gold Pouch is on and it is not equals. Is that greater than? I think it is, yeah. Less than or equal to gold pouch. No, I, oh, oh, wait, hold on. I chose the wrong one. I want gold pouch. So variable gold pouch is less than or equal to variable gold pouch, I believe, is how it works. I believe that, I believe that's how it works. I believe that's how it works. I could be wrong though. No, that's to do something else. If variable How did I do it over here? Oh no, I think I did equals. Yes, I did equals.
So variable gold pouch. No, I think I want a constant. Yeah. Greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. So let's do five. If gold pouch is less than or equal to five, we will then give the player change gold, okay? constant of five gold pieces. And then we just run to repeat this until we get to 50. Or even 100 or, yeah. I think that's how you want it done. And then else, what we do is we just take this, put it in the else tag, do this, <clears throat> and then we can make this a random number as well. Can I actually, I want to, I want to make it a random amount of gold. How do I do that? How can I make it a random amount of gold? I don't want it to be a set amount. I mean, granted it's already a random amount of gold, but I want the amount of gold you get, depending on the roll, to be randomized. So how can I do that? Do I do this, I wonder? I think I think it would be this actually. If we gold pouch What is that one? Based on the specified variable. But what is that variable? This is greater than or less than equals to, equals to, equals to, but what is this one? I could just maybe do this. Is there, hold on, I wonder, in game contents, okay, so branch, flow control, it does not say what those options are, what about variable? Game progression, variable. Oh, I think it's divide. No, it's not divide. Is it divide? Hold on, I wonder if it is. No, it's not. Because that's in here. Random use. Okay, so hold on.
control variable. Yeah, it's not saying what that symbol is. <clears throat> Self switches for events, make a new page. That's all uh, that's, that's obvious. I've never messed with timers before. Starting a timer will cause the time remaining to be displayed at the top right of the screen. Timer will temporarily stop when the while well, the menu is that smart. I love this. So that's all this does. And then you can use a to branch the process using timer conditional branch event command. So that's all this does is just a, a timer. Then you can use other things for it. And the conditional branch. But it doesn't say what that setting does, what that one is. I'm, I'm assuming it's divide. It doesn't say what it does. This is equals, this is greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, greater than, less than. But what is this one? Because it's the equal, oh, maybe not equal to. Because it's the equal sign with the line through it. So maybe it's not equal to. That might be it. Yeah, I don't know, that has to be it. Not equal to. That would make sense. Okay, yeah, I think that's what it is. If it's not equal to. Ah, uh, yeah, that has to be it. That has to be it, honestly. Yeah. So how can I make this number randomized? Whenever this hits this. So let's get rid of this for now. So we have, we have a change gold command, but I want it to be randomized between one and five. So, Would that be it? Would that do it, I wonder? Change gold plus gold pouch. Would that do it? One through five. That way this one never rolls. Let's go ahead and get rid of this one for now. And then let's just give ourselves the item. Player, and then we'll make a new event. Parallel process it, because why not? Change item, gold pouch, 299, and then we will erase the event, 
No, not that one. This one. We'll do this one. Ah. Well, thanks for telling me that I can record with NVIDIA. I already knew this. That is what it means. <clears throat> that is what it means. Oh, that is so simple. That is so fucking simple. I thought it was harder than that, but no. Oh, I thought it was harder than this. Oh, wow. Okay, there has to be an easier way to do this, right? Like... Can I change it to where it's not usable on players, but it's still a usable item? <laughs> Targets only the user. Menu screen. What if I do that? Scope none menu screen. That way it skips a step. Oh, that is so quicker. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Did I do the same for... For this one? I did. Okay. <laughs> now, do I do a wait timer on it? To be a dick. No. Okay, no. I won't I won't do a wait timer on it because it doesn't always drop. Oh, we can take the same the same thing. And just do that. And actually, fuck it. <laughs> we will. So I wonder if I can get rid of the entire conditional branch altogether. Hold on, I'm curious now. Hold on, I'm curious now. Would it still work without that? I'm curious. It does. And it has to wait. Oh, it's not rolling it anymore. Okay, no it is. It still works. I don't need it anymore. It 
Yeah, and I can't do anything for 100 frames. Because I don't know how long 100 frames is in a game time. But in real life, it's like 4 seconds. So you can't do anything for 4 seconds. And then what I can do is I can do this. I can do this. Play sound effect. Um Where is the coin? Yeah. We'll do that a few times. <laughs> oh, this is genius. Oh, I didn't do it all at, oh, I did it all at once. Hold on now, we gotta do a... Wait, hold on, can I like, no. Is there a weight on this? No, there's not, okay. Wait for yes, and then copy this and then paste. No, not there. Son of a bitch. And then do this. And actually, get rid of that. That would be our wait time right now. Oh, it's fucking genius. It's freaking, um, oh yes, I love it. All right, so now we have that one. Let's do the same here. Um, sound effect. Nope. <laughs> um, is there a bag? Hold on, um, B for bag. P for bag, a battle barrier. Nope. <laughs> battle blow book. I mean, it's a present. It is a present. That might work. Um A first alert chief meteorologist Ron Hurst. A new station alert has arrived for your area. You think I care? News channel? No. None of those will work. If I can have that be the game over, that'd be great. Actually, I can. <laughs> Fire won't work, float. No. That's ice. That's ice. How is that float? That's just a punch. <laughs> All right, you want to hear a Joker laugh? <coughs> or should I say Bart Simpson? Wait, no. <laughs> it's time for Bart Simpson. <laughs> <laughs>
found my game over laugh. Or, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, I can't freaking do it. Are you cereal? Ah. Ah. I have to move it over. Shit. Wait. Okay, so that has everything, but this does not. I wonder why. That makes no sense. Oh well, it is what it is. Um, I'm back to this now. I think it is that one I found earlier. Um, it was what? Book two? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do this one. And then we'll do this. And then we'll wait for a 60. Copy. Paste. And then paste again. Delete this one. Delete this fetus. I mean, wait, wait. What? I did not say that. I did not say that, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Delete, paste, 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 Delete this, paste this, delete this, paste this, and then delete and paste. And then, then apply. And yeah, that is our wait timer. <laughs> wait. Wait, what? Oh, what the frick? Hold on now. I can minimize all these? No way. <laughs> you can. Bro, you can minimize these. <laughs> That's sick. That's sick. I want them open. I, I like that. That's like a small little detail they added. But I want it open so I can see it. So I can work on it later if I need to. Or, you know, add more things if I want. <clears throat> Which I may not add more things to it. Who knows? <clears throat> so, yeah. So this does not need... The conditional branch. Which means neither does that one, honestly. This one is not either. I, I, I can condense this down. I can condense this down. Paste it so that I don't mess it up. So 
As long as I have this, I can do the same. I can do change item, edit. Yeah, I don't need all of this. Oh shit, okay, hold on now. So, hold on, I'm, I'm curious. I'm actually very, very curious. Would this work? If I just do this, and then I change this to a variable, that will roll a 1d17 dice and it's much more condensed oh my god I just learned something new I legit learned something new if this works So now I want to go to items, lucky present, change this one to this one, apply it, lucky present, and if this works, this is going to be freaking legit. It gave me nine. So no, that's not gonna work. Yeah, it's not gonna work the way I thought. You just only given me that one item. Unless, hold on. Oh, I see now. No, because then it would give me those again. Yeah, so that's not gonna work. That's fair. Okay, it's not gonna work then. If I if I changed it to no, that might work. Hold on. Edit this one to this, and this would it give me? the presence or no whereas yeah okay that's what I thought so yeah this will not work that is very that that is fine that is completely fine I cannot right click to that's weird whatever so yeah it has to be this way that's fine That is totally fine. Like, it makes sense. But the fact that this one worked, and I actually want to increase this to there. No, let's, let's just do this so I can see. Save it. And then do that. And... Do I want to make another one? I mean, I could. <clears throat> I don't have any more items. But I can start the groundwork for it. If I... Let's see here. Trying to think. If I do a crafting system, which I more than likely will, that way, you, that way you have to work for your stuff. Uh, 
I'll need I'll, I'll need items that um the enemies drop. I don't have any enemies in the game yet. So there's there's really no point in starting another event just for that. I need to change that one back to this one before I forget. <laughs> before I forget, change that back. Do I have a revive item? I think I do. Yes. 10%. Only in battle though. Yeah. I could start making more items. Could do more of venting. The problem is I don't really know what other common events I can make right now, other than uh, other than the groundwork for the crafting materials, which I don't have made yet, and I don't know how many of those I will have. So there's really no point in me starting that one right now. Because I have no idea how many I will have. It could be 20, it could be 50, it could be 100, or even 1,000. I have no idea. Hmm. I need to make weapons as well. I'm not going to use what they have here. I need to make armor, I need to make some enemies. Well, so I can do all of that once I'm done with the mapping itself. Because that will take time to balance things out and whatnot, so. That can come later. Um, animations. What they have now works, but I do want to tweak them some while I'm playing the game and testing it, so. Was I've never really messed with animations before. So this will be new for me. Um, types. Oh yeah, there's one thing I want to do. Um, do I have... No. I would use TP, but it never starts at 100 or 0. And I don't know how to fix that. It might be in the coding itself. And, um, yeah. That is not where you go. What in the frick? I might have gotten rid of that. I think I did. Yeah, because we're not going to have that. We're not going to have any of this stuff. We're not going to have an airship of any kind. Or a ship or anything. I don't feel the need to have that crap in my game. <clears throat> Enable auto, auto save. This one I will do. I won't be doing auto save. I mean, I, mean, I guess I could. Yeah, okay, so we're moving between locations. So that's between maps. Yeah, so I will be doing that, but not right now. Tile says is fine. States. Buffs and debuffs. Yes, I need to do those as well. Oh yeah, I could make the um 
Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and make the um player characters for male and female. Because I was going to do that, but I forgot until now. I want someone who is plain looking from the randomizer that I can go in and edit them myself. I could make that event actually. Because I was trying to do that the other day. Was it was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. I can still somewhat do the full event that I wanted to do for that. It's just that I cannot show the player the character they're choosing until the very end because of how it is set up. Because when it, when the screen is faded black, I could actually, no, I could do, wait, no, I can do it, I think. Don't fade it black, fade it white. And that might work. Nah, I'd rather not. But I could still potentially do male and female, the two, the only two genders in the world. And if you disagree, you're an idiot. I could potentially still have it to where the player chooses male and female. Then they can choose their race, white, Asian, Hispanic, black, Indian, whatever. And then they can choose their class. And then whenever they're done, that will be... What their character looks like. And it will be... Instead of the, instead of the game having just one character they play as for both male and female, there will be several. That way there's some uniqueness in the characters. I can still do that. But I wanted to show the player their character. But I'm not able to. Which is fine. So yeah, let's go ahead and make the let's go ahead and make the um, characters here. Let's save it, close it out, minimize this, and then open it back up. Actually, hold on. How long have I been? All right. Yeah. Let's go ahead and. So face wise, and I could do old and young versions too, but I mean, I could, I could do that actually, it wouldn't hurt. Like I can do super young and I can do like extremely old and in between. I could do that.
that would be another choice for the player to have. It actually wouldn't hurt to do that. So... Hold on, let me, let me make a comment in here. So, do I have that down yet, I wonder? Hold on. So, this one, I may not be able to do. So I will do this. And I say this because of how big the maps are limited to. I wouldn't have, I would have to do multiple maps just to make, just for the scale of what I wanted for my world map, which is unfortunate because a 256 by 256, in my opinion, would not be enough. So I want to take that one out. I might do it later. Who knows? We will see. Yeah, so here. I want to edit this one. Make a visual pair can choose class and character when everything is made in database. So I want to edit this one. So class character age um <clears throat> maybe they can do their own background as well. Um, hold on. Where is the... Okay, so background is profile. They wouldn't have... They only have two lines for that. Which is unfortunate. But I could... I could consider that. As well as name. Um, profile. No, I don't need profile. Freaking caps. Profile. Um, was is the background of, of the character? <coughs> I could do weapons, but since you choose a class, weapons are already you know, set in stone for that. So you're choosing weapons already. Um, teammates are gonna be set in stone as well. There's, a, there's only gonna be four party members. Let's see, so age, race, what else? So class, character, which is basically all of this stuff. Um, oh yeah. Gender and what else? So I do bonus stats. No. No. No, there's no point. Because you gain levels in the game. There's no point in doing bonus stats. Okay, so class and the character profile stuff. Um... I'm not going to do sexual orientation, there's no point. 
Because there's no nudity in my game. There's no point. Um, what else? I think that's it, honestly. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. So I could do that now. But... I don't know. Okay, yeah, so I decided that this idea would not work for parallax of the outside area surrounding the buildings. I decided that that wouldn't work. Yeah, so that was not going to work. Consider making all healing items craftable and not viable. That one's still... Yeah. Make all healing items usable only in battle. Let me check the balance of things and see what is usable and what is not usable in battle. Oh shit, uh, this. Okay, so. Oh, well, that is um, dead ass wrong. So all these are usable only in battle. Which. Yeah, so I did that one. Yeah. Yeah, so I did that one. That one is complete. So let's see here. That one is complete. However, make all healing items only in battle. Obtainable. Through, well, I cannot, I cannot spell it all today, holy crap. Through a loot box system which costs no real money because I am not a dick. And then also have them be craftable. Spiny face or troll face because I'm a huge troll and I'm not a dick. Oh wait, I am a dick. <sighs> Oh yeah, I was going to do that too, but I forgot how I was going to do that. Oh well. <laughs> Make common event where stat recovery can fail, even if at all possible. And if it fails, a random status is gained.
I was gonna put that on items that remove. Wasn't I? I was gonna put that on items that remove. Status effects, wasn't I? So what do I have that removes status effects? That one heals. So does that one. That one heals. I could do that actually. Maybe. And I can do common events on these too, which is nice. And it was what? <clears throat> Common event where state recovery fails can fail, if at all possible. And if it fails, a random status is gained. Oh, yeah, so I have done that one already. Because I've made my own. Oh, what was it again? Hold on, let me check. Yes, says removal items have been made. So that one is done. Yes, this one is also fixed. Fix game, fix the bug where pressing and holding action button allows the game to speed up. This is not an idea, this is a requirement and it should be fixed by the developers of the program. That one is done. I fixed it. I have not done that one yet. That one's on the list. This one may not happen. Who knows? We will see. Possibly remodel village priest. Oh yeah, I gotta possibly do those ones, maybe. Oh yeah. I know how to do that. And that is still top priority as well. I still have no uh, no idea how many gods I want in a game. I have not decided yet. This one is at the very end. Alright, so we have knocked off some of our ideas. Which is good. That's a good thing. But I am going to go ahead and put a cut here. And I will see all of you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to subscribe, like, and hit the bell for more RPG Maker content. And of course, I do have other content on my channel as well. My main goal of my channel, well, the main content of my channel is video game walkthroughs not full walkthroughs but just casual you know where i play games on the easiest difficulties possible and once i get comfortable with the game and whatnot and i get some better you know equipment or whatever i then ramp up the difficulty of the game and if i can handle it great if not I put it back down. Not a big deal. <clears throat> I also post some shorts of my cat sometimes. Which is currently sleeping on the couch. And I also will post updates for my channel or for my RPG Maker project at shorts as well.
So keep an eye out for all of the content I have. And I will see all of you next time. Have a wonderful day.